This village has probably not been on your radar, but it actually should be. This for very simple reasons. First of all, this village has many beautiful corners. Second, it's yet not a touristy magnet. And third, it is in the canton of Zurich, thus quicker to reach by train or car. And fourth, there are some fantastic attractions around this village within a 10 minutes radius. More about those at the end of this video. This village here is called Martal. It lays in Zurich's wine country in German Zürcher Weinland. It is a rather quiet village and perfect to be visited during spring and summer season. What impresses me most about this village are the many wood frame houses, very similar to the ones in southern Germany. Martal is probably the only village of Switzerland that has such a high density of these wood frame houses. Martalen is a rather quiet town. It's not that touristy. But it is beautiful! Yeah, very nice. Great vibes in here. And, well, very typical for many of the Swiss villages is that you have one road that is in particular very beautiful. For example, like this one here. Well, in Martalen you have a lot of roads that are very beautiful. Right? Yeah, that's true. There are several very beautiful places. Yeah, so a lot to explore in here. Many of the Swiss villages are quickly explored, however, not so for Maratal. Although you may find that the roads look similar, there are many beautiful corners to be discovered. Thus, it's a good idea to once in a while sneak out of the road. There are a lot of things to discover here in Martalen. Many secrets like this alley here. So, as I keep telling you in all of my village videos, walk through all the streets, side alleys. There are so many things you can see and you will always discover once in a while a great photo spot. So, this one would be, for example, one of them. Many of these alleys are beautiful, especially during spring you can find a lot of flowers that are blooming, which really makes a visit to this village extra exciting. Maratal is a typical Swiss village that ranks among the most beautiful ones, but interestingly, it's not a typically touristy village. You may find Maratal thus very authentic, as you'll see the real face of Switzerland. There will be little cars, sometimes tractors, few people that will pass by, and yet there are restaurants, shops and even museums around. I'm now at the village center of Martalen. Behind me that's the city hall. It's actually the nicest house in this village. And from here you have so many options of how to explore the village. With Maratalen having so many beautiful streets and corners, I recommend you to take at least two hours time to roam around. And here we are, my favorite photo spot of the village. So, you have this house, the road, just beautiful. Pay close attention to the houses, not only to the ones at the center, you'll find that some of them are really beautifully decorated. Another very interesting house. So up there you may see there are a lot of cowbells. Very typical for the Swiss culture. Just feel it's really beautifully presented with all the accessories being added. Maltalen is full of these typical wood frame houses. Then here this one is different. You can see the house is covered with ivy that just really nicely adds up to the beauty. Maratalen lays in the wine country of Zurich, this thus a traditional farmer village. Maratalen itself is not as famous as the other nearby villages for its wine, but has a tradition of farming apples. This even can be seen in the local museum. The museum showcases everything about the local farmer culture and opens every first Sunday each month. Definitely you should go to see the local museum. It's very nice. It showcases a lot of traditional gear that were used in agriculture. Well, actually they were used until I would say 1950s. 
60s maybe still and yeah it's really impressive this has been the standard for a couple of centuries here another showroom you can see there are more gear and what's also very interesting in this museum is the architecture of the timber frame house can you see how it looks like in the interior In general, smaller villages in Switzerland at best have one shop and even a restaurant. Martown is blessed to have five restaurants. The local specialties are asparagus during spring, various meats and of course fish. We're now at this restaurant called Stube Martalen, having lunch. And what is very unique about this village, there are a lot of restaurants where you can dine at and you can taste some of the local wines. Myself, I'm having uh, Feta Weisso. What I'm about? having Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> Not that local, but I think it's okay. It's very good. Salud. Salud. Martalen is beautiful and perfectly located to be combined with other great attractions nearby. First to mention would be the Rhine Falls, Europe's highest river waterfall. Waterfall is only 10 minutes away. You'll arrive at the castle of Laufen from where you may access the balcony viewpoints on the side of Zurich. That one is going to cost you 5 Swiss francs per person. Cross over to the other side, it's by the way free and consider taking one of the various boat rides. It's really fun to get very close to the waterfall. Another very beautiful village to be visited would be Rheinau. That one can be reached in less than 10 minutes by car. Rheinau has been a settlement since the Roman times. Big highlight would be a visit to the monastery on the island. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in northern Switzerland. Immerse yourself into the nature, listen to the sounds of the insects near the river and the church bells ring once in a while. Speaking of the latter, the church itself is also very much worth to see from indoors. It's by the way considered to be one of the most beautiful ones in all of Switzerland. 